what? Eight years ago, I planted a lemon tree in my yard, and we're reading the Old Testament. And what it says is the first three years, you're not to harvest the crop. But the fourth year, you harvest the crop, and then you give the first fruits to God. Now, the fourth year in that lemon tree had 12 lemons. So I took the best lemon, and I washed it, and I took my pen, and I wrote first roots on that lemon, and I took it to church on a Sunday, and I dropped it in the offering. Okay, now four years later, our other tree still produces regular-sized lemons, but the tree we tithed on now produces only this size lemons. It doesn't produce any medium-sized or small lemons. It only produces these. God's word is true. We'll come back to the end of the conclusion there in a minute. So the reason this one caught my eye is that when I lived in California, some of you may know I lived in California for a time, we had lemon and lime trees in our yard. I, in, I lived in the San Francisco Bay Area, and it seemed like no matter what one planted, no matter how, it would just grow and be great. I miss that about it because you didn't have to have a green thumb. You just had to exist and things seemed to grow like crazy. Anyway, a couple of lemon trees and a lime tree in our yard. At one point in time, a while after, we started getting lemons, massive lemons, exactly like what was depicted on screen there. And that's what caught my eye. It's like, oh, I got that very same thing too. Now, I was a Christian at the time. I didn't take my lemon tree... I didn't take any lemons to the offering. I feel like uh, the church I went to would have been rather displeased if we were just throwing random fruit into the offering plate, but that's fine. So what was going on there? Was it, what was this miracle of the giant lemons? Well, let's take a look. Uh, all it took, I did, I had no idea at the time what was causing my giant lemons either. So all it took was a little bit of searching. And here we get Lemonzilla. Uh, is your tree producing giant lemons? It may not be a fruit after all. And the article goes on to describe several different types of what is called rootstock. So it's a, it's a phenomenon in agriculture where sometimes when you are providing trees, when these, I, I forget even the, the nurseries, I guess that is they're called, when they're providing these trees for individuals and for people with large places to the initial trees that they will use to plant lemons or whatever it may be. When the roots can be intermingled with other plants or legacy plants or whatever, it seems like in rootstock that there can be a roots from unrelated plants can actually intertangle themselves into the root system of an existing tree that is thriving and end up creating branches and end up creating portions of that tree that will end up producing weird fruit that is more closely related to that original tree that has now bound itself in. This is a known phenomenon. And what it gives you is these weird lumpy lemons that actually end up, I don't, they don't, they show exactly what they look like in terms of, anyway, they don't produce good fruit. The lemons taste terrible. They don't taste right. Mostly it ends up being the white stuff and not like the fruit these giant lemons were largely useless. They were, you know, as lemons. They were awful. And if I knew what it was, I definitely would have just pruned those branches and figured out how to get rid of them because it was the small lemons that were useful and tasty. And these mutant things were awful. Anyway, I don't know for sure that that's what happened. But again, just some simple searching as to whether this is a phenomenon for people or not. This is literally, like, it's a thing that's happened to me. So this miracle of the tithed lemon such that it was rather unimpressive, shall we say, when you at least take a look at what it probably is instead. It says that to give you the desire to obey him and the power to be with Christ. And uh, man, this, this is just a result of obedience. Really? It's not a result of obedience. It's literally a weird thing that happens with lemons and oranges and other citrus fruits sometimes. And it produces... You didn't mention that it was like, these were good lemons. They're not. They're just giant, awful lemons. Try and see. You can't outgive God. If you agree, click follow or subscribe for more. So that guy who just spent his whole video just nodding in the corner there, he's like, yeah, you can't outgive God. I've added something to the video now, so you should subscribe to me if you liked this old MySpace video that I found. And that also annoys me a bit. That's fine. Christian Christians be Christianin' with their social medias. Christians love to subscribe to stuff and not to watch things. That's just a weird phenomenon. Anyway, 
What did you think of these lemons? For those of you, again, who are perhaps botanists in my audience who think that I did a poor job of explaining it, I probably did because I mainly I was just looking for the general thing to find out whether it happens to other people. And it certainly does. It happens to lots of people. So let me know in the comments or maybe you learned something today. Maybe you never heard of rootstock as I hadn't before researching this. And we all learned something that wasn't a miracle. And we learned something about miracle claims. You should check them out before you buy into them. Anyway, that was Lemon Guy. What'd you think?